Welcome to the Publish Her Podcast, a place where you can come to get inspiration, motivation, help, encouragement, and support in your journey to write, publish, and sell your book. Hosted by Alexa Bigwarf. Cause I've been where you've been And I felt what you're feeling And I don't want to get in your way Our special guest today is Elle McKenzie. They Them is the Partnerships Marketing Manager at Bookshop.org. Bookshop.org's mission is to help local independent bookstores stores thrive in the age of e-commerce. And this is, I mean, it's critical for us as authors. It's critical for us as authors to be supporting the people who are, whose livelihoods come from selling books and getting your books into those bookstores and working with them can only happen if they're still in existence. So we need to make sure that we are using them. So Thank you, Elle, for taking time out of your day to be here and um, and coming to talk to us. And for everyone in the audience, I have a list of questions that I'm going to ask, and then we'll open it up to Q&A to everyone. Um, at the end, we do have a Q&A box if you would please use that. But let's just get started by tell us what bookshop.org is. Yes, and thank you, Alexa, and thank you all for having me here. I'm really excited to uh, talk more about Bookshop, um, but you kind of hit the crux of it. We are, you know, the um, ethical alternative to Amazon. We very much, our mission, the core of our mission is to support local bookstores. And how we got started is our CEO, Andy Hunter, um, he is a native of Brooklyn, as am I. Um, his local bookstore closed down and he was like, you know, what could I really do to help with that? Because um, he comes from the publishing world as well. So he started bookshop.org for that sole purpose of he didn't want to see any more bookstores closed down like his own local bookstore did. So we we give away 80% of our profits back to local bookstores across the nation. We support a little over 1600 bookstores um, in the two, three years that we just hit our third year, um, actually a couple of weeks ago. In the three years we've been in existence, we've already donated over $24 million to local wow. bookstores with the help of authors with the help of just you know your local like everyday readers who buy on bookshop so that's why it's really important to support bookshop.org versus amazon because every um commission that we earn through your sale we instantly get back into the bookstore so it's always going that the money's going back into the hands of the bookstores at the end of the day versus amazon who pockets all that money and robs the bookstores of that they we're going to see by 2025 if if this keeps up that amazon's going to dominate 80 percent of the book market which is terrible for the same reasons that you mentioned Alexa. oh my gosh it's it, yeah it's it's terrible. We could dig into that more later on all the reasons why, but we might be sitting here in a venting session for, <laughs> I might melt down if I start getting into what's happened <laughs> in the past few months. So we're not going to go there. So, well, so how oh, you just kind of answered this last question. How's it different from other book retailers? You're, you're an online platform, right? But when people go online to buy a book there, they, they can look for the bookstore that's closest to them. Correct. Correct. Yes. Yeah. So we have a bookstore map that's found at the top of our platform. And the beauty of us is, yeah, let's say that your favorite bookstore is 100 miles away. Well, you can still support them by going to bookshop.org, selecting them at your purchase. And then at the end of your purchase, we will donate whatever you bought. Um, a portion of that will go back into that bookseller's own affiliate ledger is what we call it. And that they will get the sale for that. So it's a beauty. It can be all over the, the nation. Like I said, we have over 1600. So let's say you want to support another bookstore that may be, I don't know, in Texas, you know, because you're hearing about what we're seeing, like with um, critical race theory and how like, you know, you want to support maybe a black owned bookstore down there, then you can so go to our map, select that and they will get the sales for that. So it's a really beauty that Amazon does not have. Yeah, that's really nice. So then when a bookstore gets an order like that, I don't know if this is something you know or not, but from, from working with the bookstores, do you know if um, if if there's any benefit to the author? Like, does that bookstore now pay attention to this book? Have you seen, do you know if bookstores are then ordering more copies if people are requesting? Do you have any of that kind of insight? I imagine they do because we give the bookstores all of the data. They they can see what is selling through their store. They can see what lists are performing well through their stores, what authors are performing well. So I can imagine, yeah, they'll look at their their data and see, oh, this is buying really well online. Let's get to this get this in the store as well. I can definitely see tons of bookstores taking advantage of that. And you also um, kind of promote those books that are doing well as well, right? I think you guys have a list on the top selling books that that's going out to your email yes. list. 
Mm-hmm. Yes, we have a bestsellers list, which is also very different from Amazon, which we we really take pride in um, as well. But yeah, we send out f- uh, weekly newsletters with bestsellers. We also send out every Tuesday is our new releases newsletter um, that you know sponsors and authors who have recently published their books. And we have various other newsletters that go out throughout the week. So we're always pushing authors' books throughout to our customers. Is there any way beyond um, people actually having sales on Bookshop, is there any way for authors to... Um, ensure that they're like, how do you determine, does everybody who published a book that week that's new to Bookshop, do they get on your list? Or is there a way that people can send and say, hey, I just launched my book. Can you add it to your list or anything like that? Yeah, our sales and ads team actually handles, um, I'm in the marketing scene, but our sales and ads teams handles all of our newsletters. And um, yeah, we're freaking, we recognize that we want to support, you know, the big name authors as well as, you know, maybe the small authors that don't quite have a following yet. Because at the end of the day, it all circles back around when we support the independent bookstores, we support the independent publishers, we support the independent authors, it all boils down into uh, us helping each other. So we recognize that we always want to give the same platform to the, maybe the under, um, um, selling authors to the same ones that, you know, like the, the bigger name authors as well. So yes, feel free to reach out to me. I can always then direct you to our ads team or our, to our sales team, and they will give you more information about how you can be in one of our newsletters. Great. For our listeners, what I will do is I will I will contact Elle after this um, recording. I'll get that information and I'll share that um, with you all as well so that we're not all emailing Elle <laughs> to get the information. <laughs> so try, try and lighten your load just a little bit there. <laughs> um, okay. So here's Here's the big question, because unlike um, the other platforms where you can go in and just load your book to them organically with Bookshop, you have to be how how does a book get on bookshop.org? Yeah, so we use um, Ingram as a distributor. So as long as your book is in Ingram or Ingram Sparks database, it'll be on bookshop.org. Same as Amazon. Amazon also uses Ingram distributors throughout the country. But as long as your book is... um, in um, Ingram's database, it should be on bookshop.org. Sometimes you will see see that maybe it is in Ingram, but you don't see it on bookshop.org. That's totally fine. Uh, Don't fret. A lot of times with technology, as you saw with me struggling with over there, sometimes (laughs) the book may just be on uh, a little bit of a um, temporary delay, you know, pushing from Ingram's database onto our platform. So just always shoot us an email, shoot me an email. Or our, 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 our info at bookshop.org. I'll also provide that to you, Alexa, which is our customer service email. Um, it's a, We just push a button and manually import your book onto the platform. Yeah, I've actually had great success with your customer service team. Um, there's a link on the website. In fact, if you go to Bookshop, if you're in Ingram Spark or Ingram right now, and you go to bookshop.org and you search for your title and you don't find it, there's a place, I think it's in the footer, there's a contact or help or something option like that. And um, my book's not on bookshop.org is one of the um, drop downs in that form. And they've been uh, y- your team has been incredible. Like within 24 hours, if we if we had a book that somehow got lost in the technology, um, have been up there really really quickly. Um, so I appreciate that because again, we want to be able to use those links and send people there. So it's a win win. Um, so. Uh, so we answered that question, what happens if it's not showing up and you're already distributed through Ingram? So for those of you who are not using Ingram Spark, I just want to make sure that you understand that Ingram, just a little side note here, is is pretty much the only way um, to be fully distributed at this point in time for a self-published author. Um, so we will have Ingram Spark representation at our conference, and they will be there, I believe, on day two. Bailey from their team is going to be coming to talk about Ingram Spark. They're also offering a free um, publishing code for authors. So there should be no reason by the end of the conference that you aren't able to have your book on Ingram and not have to pay for the title upload, which is really nice. Um, so keep keep that in mind. You're going to want to do that so that you can start using bookshop.org and all the other um, stores that you can get into. Okay. So <clears throat> We kind of covered this already, why authors should send people to Bookshop rather than Amazon. Is there any other benefit? Um, So we covered, you know, the benefit of not using Amazon. We covered the benefit of supporting bookstores and then the benefit of um, being included in these lists that come through from authors being on Bookshop. Does that pretty much cover it or is there anything that we missed in that as another reason why you would want to use it? 
I think as uh, another added benefit of being on Bookshot.org is being an affiliate in our program as well. Um, another uh, great thing that we really pride ourselves versus Amazon, uh, Amazon's affiliate program offers authors 4.5 commission, whereas we doubled that. We offer an author 10% commission by selling your, your book through your affiliate links to your audience. So it's just an added perk, you know, in addition to the, the royalties you're going to get from the book, you can also get a 10% commission if you push your affiliate link to your um, readers and your customers as well. And one of the bigger benefits about that too is I don't believe you all have in your terms of service that those affiliate links can't be used in emails, correct? Correct. Yeah, we, we we're very loose in our terms because we, we definitely recognize also, and I think you touched on this earlier, Alexa, we, like, there's no requirements. You don't have to have your books off of Amazon in order to be a bookshop.org affiliate. We still want you to push that Amazon link because we recognize, yeah, everyone is still kind of making their way over to us. We also recognize that Amazon is still a pretty big conglomerate. We don't want to take away that revenue from you at all. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, but I, I love it. We've signed up for an affiliate link for our books and definitely use that because why not? I mean, we talk all the time in our community about additional revenue streams and bringing in other ways as you're trying to grow your uh, revenue from your author sales. So that's really exciting that you can not only support local bookstores, send them to someplace that's not Amazon and make extra money back. I mean, I can't see any reason why anybody would not want to participate through this. Win, win, win. <laughs> it's win, win, win. But I will say, here's the question we get asked all the time. Mm -hmm. So people say, well, I want to send people to Amazon because they, if they're prime, they get free shipping. There is shipping charged on bookshop.org. However, you guys have some other incentives like discounting the prices of a lot of the books. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yes, yes. So again, going back to how we we give all of our money away to the local bookstores, we discount the books um, to the same about ten percent, range from seven percent to ten percent on our site to also go up against Amazon as well. And you did touch on the free shipping, which is why we do upcharge the free shipping a little bit because we, in order for us to stay alive and well, we have to we have to get the money from somewhere. So that is why we we don't yet have free shipping, but you know, between you and me, we are actually working on getting our own free shipping. Um, oh, wow. So that's soon to come. But as of right now that, yeah, we upcharge the free shipping. So then that we can discount the books on our site. I think though, that one, there's a lot of people who are growing disgruntled with Amazon and don't want to use them. So I think that argument may be going down the drain a little bit. Um, I hope, well, I should probably not say that before the Amazon people come after me. I don't need to <laughs> <laughs> but I think there's plenty of people who A, aren't using Prime, B, are really um, excited about the idea of supporting their local bookstores, C, we can use our affiliate links in our emails, which you're not allowed to do with Amazon. So that gives you an opportunity, again, to include the link in an email and send it out and earn your commission from your sales through that. And then D, because you are providing that um, small retail discount on it, it actually brings it down. So there's really not that much a, a difference in price. We're talking maybe one or $2 at the end of the day. So I don't think most people would steer clear of buying the book over one or $2. That's my guess, but um, I, I'm excited. I'm really excited to hear that there may be a free shipping option coming up in the future. Um, okay. So Let's see here. Uh, well, we kind of touched on this, but are there any, uh, do you have any advice or suggestions on how, you know, other than reaching out to the marketing team and, and finding out if they can be featured in a list or anything else, is there anything that authors can do to make their books more visible um, on Bookshop or even is it is it a good incentive when they these are kind of two different questions so maybe I should separate them but um is it appealing to when they're going out to talk to bookstores to say oh by the way my book is also available on bookshop mm -hmm. Any, uh, I'll start with the latter question yeah I always encourage authors and we do this ourselves on our team whenever we are going to a bookstore we make it known like hey like I work for bookshop.org I definitely think that it's also beneficial for an author to be like hey my bookshop's on bookshop my book's on bookshop.org is there anything I can do to help promote it like maintaining that conversation is also something that we always encourage authors to do with the booksellers as well. Um, and I'm sorry, Alexa, what was your first question again? about uh, Anything that we can do to make our, our titles more prominent. Do you offer any kind of marketing or um, any opportunities for on bookshop.org? 
Absolutely. So um, this kind of ties in with the benefit of being an affiliate as well. But um, we, another cool thing about what's difference between us and Amazon is we have curated book lists in what we call your storefront, which is basically your virtual bookstore. Um, and we can promote that on our home pages, which gets a million views a day and our, or our subcategory pages, which is, you know, like romance, fiction, et cetera, et cetera. But that's a great way to also get you more exposure to more readers because as they're browsing the list, they'll say, oh, I like this book add that to my cart and the beauty of it there's multiple books within that list so then they're upcharging their cart which again as an affiliate is going to bring you more commission sales to that so that's just a great another way to get your exposure and also le really learn more about who you are as an author as well great um i'm gonna so first of all i want you to know i'm gonna move over to the q a because we have um lots of questions coming in from the audience i want to tell you that dot says she doesn't have a question but she just wants to tell you that she loves bookshop.org to buy all of her paperback books and she loves it so thank, thank you for you that. that um tina i'm going to answer your question really quickly ingram spark is a distributor and bookshop.org is a retailer so they're selling the books they're not publishing the books um, okay, so Laura says, how is bookshop.org different from ordering directly from um, an indie bookstore online? So she says, I recall finding an option for purchasing at a network of independent bookstores years ago before she started ordering directly from an in-town, um, but wanted to know the difference between those. Laura, are you happy or ha are possibly talking about indie bound? Because um, essentially that is... Um work because any books but actually uh fun fact we actually are going to start taking over for indie bound so you might have come across the indie bound book link is which i'm assuming please correct me if i'm wrong but all the indie bound book links that you have been seeing are now going to be replaced with bookshop.org links so indie bound is essentially what we are but it was it's owned by the aba which is the american booksellers association mm -hmm. uh, and we have now partnered with them to take over their platform for that because we were seeing, we were gathering more sales for the bookstores than Indie Bound was doing. So we're just gonna combine and just switch all the book links. So to answer your question, now you will start to see all those links shift to bookshop.org links. But essentially we were the same platform. Awesome. And at this point in time, Bookshop is not doing digital books. It's all print, correct? Or am I wrong about that? For, okay. the, for the time being, but also uh, you heard it here first, uh, but um, we're, we're we're working to, we want to build our own ebook platform. It's completely down the line. It's a long-term goal, but we want to eventually start selling digital books. Yes. Awesome. And that's what that answers the next question about why it has to go through Ingram, because that's the print side. Draft to digital only does um, ebooks at this point in time, and no other distributors currently are funneling into um, Bookshop other than Ingram, Ingram Spark, correct? Correct, yes. Okay. All right. Um, wondering, Laura has another question here, wondering if or how Bookshop.org supports authors for opportunities such as book talks or book signing events. Is there a way to coordinate anything like that? That's an interesting question. Yes. Yeah, so when we first started, we were exploring events, um, but we realized that we didn't want to take away from the events that actual booksellers can have within the stores so we don't do any uh, events at the moment we have we're starting to now that things are starting to open up back again with COVID etc cetera, etc cetera, we've been looking to partner with different booksellers but you will probably not ever see us hosting our own event um, right. it'll probably be like either sponsoring a booksellers event you know or something like that okay perfect we never want to detract from booksellers okay um, and U.S. only. I think I think I asked that in the in thing, but Canadians are not currently part of this, correct? Uh, they can join our affiliate program, but um, we only ship within the U.S., correct? Okay, good mm -hmm. to know. But a lot of, I mean, shoot, as we can see right here in this community, a lot of us have an international followings and people in the U.S., so by all means, get that affiliate link, and when you're emailing your list, send it out, and maybe you have some Americans on your list that would be interested in getting your book. Okay. How Rainy wants to know how does the compensation payment work? Is it received? No, no, no. It wouldn't go through Ingram Spark. You all have your own affiliate program that once people earn their commissions, you pay them directly. Correct. Correct. Yes, you'll cash out on your own. You'll sign up through Stripe, and then anytime you want to cash out, as long as your funds are above twenty dollars, you'll hit that cash out to my bank account, and Stripe will then pay you. Nice. And then in terms of your book royalties, because they are being purchased through Ingram, Ingram Spark, you would get your book royalties just like you do any because it counts as a regular sale, just like any other time. Correct. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Is there a link or icon we can add to our sites to send folks to bookshop.org as a place to buy 
you just yes. grab the link to the book, right? Or do you? Yeah. Have- so once you become an affiliate, there, you'll have actually five different affiliate links that you can promote. And we have something that if you're looking for actual buy button, we have widgets as well that you can embed into your site, push out on social, put in your um, your newsletters, wherever have you. But yeah, you'll have um, at least six or five to six different affiliate links that you can interchange through your audience. And even if you're not an affiliate, you can go to bookshop.org, find your sales page, just like you would with anything else, grab that URL and plop it in there. But why not be an affiliate? If you get the opportunity to make some extra money, why not do it? That's what I'm saying. (laughs) Oh, Nancy, this is such a great question. Are there any plans to allow reader reviews on the book pages at bookshop.org? Yes. Another thing that we are on our roadmap right now, we eventually want to essentially be like the the goodreads you know for the site that's something that was again long term but you will eventually see us starting to like lay out that groundwork where we want to like take over that goodreads market yeah you can put the reviews right on your product page right next to your book a buy button all in one housing setting awesome that'd be so great um so Jacqueline Lynn says, is there a way for me or an indie publisher to set up a book sales page on my website using bookshop.org? Huh. Yes, I, I, I think this is kind of aligning with the affiliate program that we were talking uh-huh. about too, where you would build your own little virtual store and you'll ha- just house that on your site. And then when the, your readers are ready to buy the book, it'll direct them to bookshop.org and then you'll receive the commission sale for that. Great. All right. Um, oh, we have another fan here. Quinn oh, says, Quinn. <laughs> she's excited to see you. You've highlighted their books, podcasts, and Facebook group several times. Now, how does everybody else get in on that? How do we get our podcasts and groups highlighted? <laughs> <laughs> so sorry, rereading again. Sorry. Uh, it's Quinn say how you highlighted our kids' book. Oh, okay. Yes. Um, mm-hmm. I recently re- received an interesting question. Do you think that the Ingram requirement will always be in place? Um, I, I think it will be at the moment that's that is our only distributor. Um, so at the time being, yeah, Ingram will be the only requirement to have your book on the site. And so then going back to my question, which was not Quinn's question, was how how did how do you get featured? <laughs> like I, I'd like to be featured. We'd all like to be featured. <laughs> like you're gonna be getting a lot of emails. <laughs> a little um Quinn and I, we go back quite a while. Quinn's been a oh, oh, it's connection. Uh, we used to do um social media shout outs but we've since paused that um but we're hoping to pick that up again a little late down the road okay so everybody needs to get on following them on social media get on the <laughs> newsletter so you can see when this stuff opens back up again and then the whole women in publishing summit community can just bombard them with <laughs> just come my way come my way <laughs> All right. So Tamian asks, if an author publishes through Ingram Spark, they automatically end up on the bookshop catalog. Yes. And is the book automatically listed with Amazon as well? Um, I, I don't quote me on this to me, but I'm sh- they, I'm sure you will be because both Amazon and us use Ingram. Um, but I'm pr- I'm pretty sure you also end up on Amazon. Yes, it, I can tell you that unless you opted out of distribution to Amazon when you signed your original contract with Ingram, which most people do not do. You're, um, you will automatically be on any retailer that um, Ingram Spark distributes to. So uh, Barnes and Noble, Target, if you're in the Target program, all of those places. Okay, Louise, we answered the question already about it only being print books. So I'm going to move past that one. Uh, that's the same question on that one. Okay, this is a great question from Emily. Can you talk more about your parameters of the bestseller list? What determines a book making that list? Yes, um, I can speak a little bit to that because um, as I mentioned, it's the sales, our sales and advertising team kind of handles that side. Um, so I can't speak to what the parameters are, but um, they do select all the bestsellers books and, and I can speak to it. It's not, you don't have to be a bestseller to be on our bestseller list. Um, we are, like I said, we're always trying to push all types of authors to gain their own following, uh, but I can, ha- I'm happy to give you their information and then they'll be able to provide what does it take to get on their list. Okay, so I'm just answering Charlene that if she doesn't see her books on, um, on in- if she's distributed through Ingram and doesn't see it, then to reach out to customer support. Let's see, I find the ebook process to be a little clunky. Any plans to streamline that process? I'm not yeah. sure I understand. 
<laughs> do you understand that question? Because uh, you guys aren't you doing mean, ebooks, right? Uh, uh, yeah. Well, we don't have an ebooks uh, system right now. So is that what you mean by clunky Nancy? But if that is what you mean, yes, we, we're building our own ebook um, platform actually at the moment, which uh, we're hoping to launch later this year. So hopefully they will be as seamless as possible for you all. All right. So what is the uh, uh, affiliate status in Bookshop? Is that separate from a regular listing? Um, they don't see, the buyer doesn't see any difference, correct? Um, I could take a moment here just in case people don't understand how affiliate uh, marketing works. So when you sign up as an affiliate to any any company, to Amazon, to the Women in Publishing Summit, to whatever, to Bookshop, to anybody, basically all that means is that they create special links that you use so that when you're sharing it, it's attached to you. So that when somebody buys something through that, you get credit for it. But for the buyer, there's absolutely nothing on the front end that shows anything different. They click on that link, they go directly to your sales page, just like they would. And um, and the only thing you should know is that if you're using affiliate links in marketing, you should disclose that. And it's just as, as easy as saying, this email includes affiliate links or in a blog post, I'm using affiliate links here. Um, so that people are aware, but it doesn't change their price. It doesn't change the way anything looks. It doesn't create a different listing. It's it's just a special link with some extra little things on the end of it to attach it to you. Yes. And we've also seen higher conversion rates from authors and publishers too. If they also include by buying through this affiliate link, you also support local independent bookstores. That is a great disclaimer to put in there because I think a lot of people really want to, to do that. So, Okay. Uh, did we already answer this? Um, you mentioned the lists or subcategories on your homepage. How does an author get on those lists? I think we kind of talked about you. the marketing team pulls basically from what's active and happening, I think is. Yeah. So once you sign up for the our affiliate program, um, you're going to frequently start getting my um, monthly newsletters. And in those newsletters, I have a submission form for you to submit those lists. And then I will then put them up on the homepage for you. Oh, awesome. All right. Um, will you ever be considering audiobooks? <laughs> uh, not at the moment, but our good friends at Libro.fm, you should look into them. They do the same program as us, where everything that you buy, audiobooks that you buy on their site, they support local bookstores as well. So we 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 let them handle the audiobooks, we do the physical books, and then we always combine forces like that. That's good to know. Very good to know. Okay, let's see. Gloria says, I published books. I had to close my bookstore. I just have it open for my press books only. I have Ingram as my distributor. You said they did this all automatically. Yes. How can my press be involved? Should my press become an affiliate or should I do it as my bookstore for my press books only? When my store closed, I had to stop selling books by others. Hmm. I, I think this is a really your own preference. So we have two separate um, affiliate programs. We have a bookstore affiliate program, and then we have a non-bookstore affiliate program. So our bookstore affiliate program, there's no requirements. If you want to join as a bookstore, um, you would just have to be an ABA member. So that would just bump you up into the bookstore affiliate program. If you aren't an ABA member, Gloria, then you'll then I would recommend signing up as your press for an affiliate. Okay. Uh, great question, Viver. You mentioned paperback books specifically. What about hardbacks or spirals or others? I would guess spiral, no, because Ingram doesn't publish spirals, but hardbacks they do. Oh, yes, we do do hardbacks. Okay. All right. Um, Holly asks, once you create an account on bookshop.org, how do you access the affiliate information? Can you describe the steps to take? Sure. So once you are approved, um, our system is going to approve is like just to make sure you're not a bot, but you all are not bots, so you'll be fine. But once your system, your account is approved, um, our system is going to send you our, our list of guides um, to walk you through how to set up your page. It's really just including like your bio, your social links. Um, it'll get, be a, a guide in there to build your list like we talked about. That's how you get on the home page. And then there'll be a guide to how to generate your affiliate links, which, is, which Alexa was talking about, where you'll include in your website, your newsletters, your social. And that'll be and that'll be the complete process. And then you're all set to be, begin sharing those links with your audience. And then just wait for the money to come in after that. <laughs> Pretty wait for simple. the money to come in. So Aaron's asking about if she should propose this to her um, publisher, but if they're if they're distributing your book through Ingram, it should be available on bookshop.org. So in that case, your publisher doesn't even have to be involved. You can just go find your book out there and grab that link and it'll be nothing changes on the back end. The publisher still gets credit for the sale when it goes through. You'll just get some extra commission from your affiliate link unless I have any of that wrong. No, that's correct. Okay. All righty. Um, oh, Nancy says she's bought ebooks on Bookshop before. 
Yeah, when we first launched, we had this really kind of janky ebook system that we've since parted ways from. So it, it um, but we are we are mo now moving into our own direction to buy our own ebooks. But yeah, we had I think the system was called like uh, my my must reads or something like that was the ebook system, which wasn't very good. So I, I apologize. <laughs> Let's you, we're, but you're gonna unclunkify it. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna unclunkify. All right. So a couple of people are asking, yes, well, you can just like any other program, you can use your affiliate link to promote anybody else's book. So once you, um, if like, for example, in our community, we have a lot of authors that come together to promote each other and support each other. Once you have an affiliate link, you can look up, sorry, Elle, I'm just taking over here. <laughs> oh, wait, making my job easy, but I like it. <laughs> you can just look up those books online and, and it'll have your affiliate link for each one of those books. So you can just grab your affiliate link. And what a great, what a great idea, y'all. If you're doing newsletter swaps and promos, all of you sign up as affiliates, all of you use affiliate links, then you're all sending it out to your email list and you're all supporting each other's books and each of you will um, earn some extra money if anybody purchases. And imagine if they purchase all of those books, like Elle was just saying, you get the affiliate for all of them. Exactly. The more books that you promote, the, the higher, the more likelihood you're going to get higher conversions. So always, it does not need to be your own books. It could be other books as well. Awesome. Um, so Rainy has a specific affiliate question. If you earn commission and, and it's paid, how is that money considered? Is it a royalty payment or is it like getting cash? I don't know if you know the answer to that. I have a suggested answer. Yeah, it's like getting cash. It, yeah. It's separate from your royalty payments. Right. So it would just be considered like any other income that comes into your business. On that note, make sure y'all all have business accounts and that these things are being deposited into your business account so that it's separate because you'll want to account for that as income for your business, but it won't be considered royalties. Okay. Oh, Lori says she lives in Italy. How lovely for you. Wow, <laughs> she <writes> Lori, wow. <laughs> Can she set up an account without problems? Yes. So um, you can, you don't need to be in the U.S. to be a U.S. affiliate. Um, if you do not have a U.S. bank account, Stripe does require a U.S. bank account to connect your accounts. If, if you do not, that's okay too. We have an alternative. We can wire transfer those funds to you, but we'll just need, you know, your banking information, routing, et cetera, et cetera. But again, it goes back to just disclaim to your readers, hey, by buying through our U.S. affiliate account, it only ships within the U.S., your Italian residents will not be able to get the book, unfortunately. Um, okay. Tamian wants to set up an affiliate account to promote her client's books. She's thinking of placing links to her client's books and her website portfolio. That's a fabulous idea. I love that. Um, and when you sign up for an account, can you use a pen name? Absolutely. And you don't really need to actually, Gabrielle, because you're not getting, the affiliates aren't getting promoted or seen anywhere, correct? That's just your backend stuff that you can grab links from. But by signing up for an or to what you said earlier about the list and being on there, does it attach to you as an author? So it really is how you set up the profile. Like if you were to use your pen name, that will be on the display on your storefront page, which is again, like your virtual bookstore. Um, think of it as your main, your, your main housing for all your lists. But yeah, you, you can use your pen name. You can use your real name. It's whatever you want. I do believe when you're connecting your Stripe account though, you need to use your actual government name. Um, but for your storefront account, you can use whatever you want. Perfect. I'm sorry. I did not mean to get you into an entire discussion on affiliate, uh, the affiliate program, but it sounds like we have a lot of excited people who are ready I to get there. Um, so <laughs> how, do they get, how do we get paid? Uh, you mentioned this earlier, but I can't remember. Did you say it's direct um, bank direct deposit? Completion. Yes. Uh, Stripe will deposit into your bank account. Correct. Awesome. Okay. And I saw one more question that's not in the Q&A box, but we want to wanted to know, I want to wanted to know if you publish on Amazon, can you use bookshop yes yes they're not they're not exclusive of each other um okay well that's all the questions that we had in there but we covered a lot of ground there i think the the key thing to remember is one first and foremost you're providing your readers an alternative to sending them to amazon um and for those who really want to support bookstores this is really an important tool for us to use and it's been it's been really sad i remember I actually went out to San Francisco last year and Nancy, who's in this group and on my team lives out there and we met up and it was right after the pandemic was people were starting to open bookstores and we went to a bookstore and it was the first time I had been in a physical bookstore in three years and I almost cried like it was that emotional to me. So we do not want these stores to shut down or get lost in the competition of other big retailers. So I think it's just so important. 
Um, and so get your affiliate account so that you can earn some extra money while you're sharing your books, your clients' books, your uh, books that you've published, all those types of things. Promote each other with your affiliate links. And then uh, one more question popped in. What type of reporting is available for the affiliate program? Yes. Yeah, so you will get a report that says um, the books that were sold. It will also tell you which, if you have lists, it will say what uh, list those books were sold from. And obviously like your total sales amount, it will tell you the order number, but we uh, due to privacy policy. We're not able to give you like who those customers are, but in any event, you know, you have a customer reach out, say, Hey, hey I have order number, blah, blah, blah. Then you'll pass that order number onto our customer service team and we'll handle everything else for you. But that's why we give you the order number. Can we go back to the lists for one second? I think I missed that or don't quite understand. Like how do how do we set up lists and what kind of list would that be? Would it be like our recommended reading or a list of all of our books that we've published or something like that? You can actually create a list and share that entire list through your affiliate link. Exactly. Yeah. So think of your, your list as like a shelf. Um, so you can have a whole list of, yeah, just your published book within your presses. And then maybe you have, yeah, like a recommended reading, like or a holidays list or a, a romance section list. You know, it could be anything you want. You can have as many lists as you want on your on your page. All you need is the ISBN to create these lists. Awesome. Okay, so uh, we want to, I'm sorry, I know I'm pronouncing that right, wrong. Why want to, I, I believe I got it right that time. Um, we will send out the recording to this and you can go back and catch the overview on this, but basically they're a nonprofit. They give back 80% of their, of, of the profit from books sold to local retailers. People can um, shop through whatever bookstore that they want online. So, but I'll send out the re the recording for this. So anybody who came in late or missed it, or it went too fast, because both of us are fast talkers here. We're like, la, la, la. <laughs> you can go back and slow it down and listen to it over and over if you'd like but we'll make sure that that's out there for you. Um, okay, and Gabrielle wants to know if she can speak with someone before signing up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, do you want to just talk right now? Is it about the affiliate program, about Bookshop? I'm happy to answer any questions you have, Gabrielle. Yeah, Gabrielle, if you have a specific question and want to drop it in here, we have a couple minutes to, to chat. Um, so, yay, I got your name right. <laughs> um, okay. But we can definitely... This is something I think we'll dig into more because um, it's just, it's important. It's important. It's a good resource for authors. It's a good resource for the community that we serve and support. Um, and also what a great way. Now, here's what you don't want to do. Nancy will remember this from when we were in New York at the Book Expo America in 2017. This is when I learned my biggest moment as a publisher. <laughs> I'm talking to a bookstore owner and I'm like, oh, we've just published these books and we're so excited about them. I have the one sheets. Would you like to check them out? And he looked at it and he handed it right back to me. And he said, we don't buy books from Amazon. <laughs> I'm a bookstore owner. I'm not going to buy your books off of Amazon. They're my biggest competitor. He was much nicer about it than that. But it was a really eye-opening experience uh, to me because I thought, well, duh, I'd never thought about that. Of course, a bookstore is not going to go buy a book or get a book from Amazon. They're going to want to get it through their own channels. So now when you're on Bookshop, not only do they know you're distributed through Ingram, which is where they purchase from, they also know that you're out there doing things specifically to support local bookstores. And I think that's a great thing to be able to show. And you should highlight that on your one sheets. And when you're reaching out to bookstores, you know, book is available on bookshop.org and wherever else books are sold or something like that is a good thing, I think. Exactly. Okay. All right. So she co-writes, she wants to talk. Okay. So they've got to have a conversation and then she'll get back in touch with you. So um, you said, uh, what was the email you want people to reach out to if they have specific questions? You don't have to give yours, but if there's a customer support. Sure. Like I'll drop our customer. I'll, I'll drop both. Um, this is our customer service line. If you, if you are your Customers have any um, questions? And I'll just drop mine as well in the chat. Uh, happy to always answer questions. Uh, and that's mine right there. Awesome. Okay. So question on using the pen name. I typically set up accounts like this under my government name, but I don't want my pen name to show up on my shop. Is that easy to do? I think Absolutely. So it, it, think of it um, as setting up your affiliate program is just like setting up a Facebook profile, you know, you'll have an, a name section, about section, social media section. Um, but yeah, you can put any name that you want in it. You even have your own URL and it could be anything that you want it to be as long as it are, isn't already taken by another affiliate. You can build the, it, whatever URL you want. 
Awesome. Yes. Yeah, so whatever name you want it to be, that's cool. Okay. And Waiwana says, if I want to support a, lo a great question, a local bookstore that's not currently found on the bookshop map, how do I get that store added? Yeah. So it you, I would first encourage you to go to that store to encourage them to get on bookshop.org. Um, it will be up to the books, the bookstore itself to reach out to us. They also have to just be an ABA member. But um, unfortunately, we cannot add a local bookstore without first them reaching out to us first. And then we'll go through our own channels. And then that's how we put them up on the platform. So always encouraging the bookstore, like, hey, you, you should be on bookshop.org. Like, reach out to them. Like, and then we'll be happy to move forward from there. I'm redropping I'm redropping in the email addresses. Looks like those went to the host and panelist. And also L was great, uh, gracious enough to drop the link to how to become an affiliate. So make sure you grab that. I'll include that link when we send out the um the replay of this as well so that everyone has that. Um, let's see here. Okay. And that's, a, it's a very easy process from what I recall. But now after we've had this conversation, I'm realizing I am not utilizing bookshop.org at all to the extent that I should be in terms of like building lists and um, doing other other things. So I'm going to go back in and look at my account and see how I can maximize it to the most amount. Um, okay. So is there any benefit to doing using just bookshop.org instead of just doing business directly with a specific bookstore? Hmm. Yeah. So by being in our affiliate program, I think we talked about this uh, a little earlier, but you'll get an extra commission by then pushing your own affiliate links, the extra 10% link. Um, whereas working with a specific bookstore, I mean, I guess it will depend on what partnership you work out with the bookseller itself. But we always um, give the 10% commission for any books that are sold through your affiliate links. And then the more affiliate links that you push, the more conversions you earn, you'll get higher sales um, for your account. Awesome. All right. Does anybody have any other questions while we have L with us? I've got these links, so they'll be in the replay email. Give us about 24 hours. Takes us a little time to process everything and get it sent out. Um, but this is this has been great. This has been really great. I'm I'm really excited to learn um more about this and um about what we can be doing to support not only the bookstores, but also our co-author, our fellow authors, I should say. So um, is there anything else that you would like to add or that you felt like we didn't cover? I think I, I think that's pretty much everything, but please feel free to use that, utilize my email address if you have further questions. Um, but it's, I'm excited to see all y'all storefront and see y'all sales. And then always, I always love when people send me their lists. Um, that's one of my favorite things to do to, to put, promote them on the homepage. So please take advantage of that as well. That's super exciting. So everybody has homework between now and March 1st when the conference starts, and that's to set up your, your uh, affiliate account, set up your storefront, and get ready to, to um, be sending your list to L. Okay, this is a good question. What does the red request verification message mean? It's non-clickable. Do you know what that is? The red verification. Holly, what part of the, is that in the um, application to be a, uh, an affiliate? Is it, oh, like you mean the the button? Yes, after you sign in, there's- a... Oh yeah, so yeah, once you click that button, it just shoots us, shoots you to the to our request. And I'm gonna go in and approve you right now, Holly. But yeah, you're doing the right thing by clicking that button. Awesome. Thank you so much for giving us your time today. Thank you for everybody who came to be here and be with this live. Um, we're so excited to have you as part of the Women in Publishing Summit community. We're so glad to be sharing about Bookshop and, and um, utilizing this resource to the embetterment of our community as a whole. And um, I, I just am excited to, to have all this new information that we can all use. So thank you. It was such a pleasure. Thank you for having me, Alexa. Thank you all for joining today. All right, everyone, have a great day and we'll see you in the, hopefully you're all in the Facebook group. Okay, wonderful. Thank you, everyone. Bye. Bye. You don't have to give me your heart. You don't have to give it away. You don't got Thank you for joining us on the Publisher Podcast. We hope to see you back for the next episode. Great, huge thanks goes to Jasmine Commerce for the use of her song. You can find Jasmine on SoundCloud. Go check out all of her music. We'll see you next time.